Hi everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Top 5 Best E-Reader 2022. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. 1. Kobo Libra 2 the Kobo Libra 2 sets the bar really high for e-readers to come, particularly from the Japanese-Canadian company itself. And it does all this without costing too much more than the Libra H2O it's essentially replacing. It's in no way, cheap, but take all the upgrades into account and the value for money here is unbeatable. The aforementioned firsts aside, the Libra 2 even ups the ante on performance and responsiveness. This makes text appear sharper even though the resolution is the same 300 pixels per inch shared by several older Kobo devices. There's even a bigger battery in the Libra 2 as compared to the Libra H2O, 1500 milliamp hours versus 1200 milliamp hours, so you can keep reading for weeks before you're going to set it aside for a top up. While charging is now faster thanks to the USB-C port, the device goes into trickle charging mode once it hits about 92% battery and the rest of the way is, strangely, very slow. If Kobo can figure out a way to speed this tiny bit up, there's not going to be anything to complain about here. 2. Amazon Kindle Paperwhite, 2021. The latest standard Kindle Paperwhite feels anything but standard. It now has a larger display being 6.8 inches. Even better, thinner borders means less plastic to hold onto or look at. The screen offers a resolution of 300 pixels per inch with a glare-free display that means you can read it in bright sunlight without a problem. In addition, it's speedier than its predecessor. Amazon promises up to 20% faster page turns than before and such differences soon add up. Charging is faster too thanks to USB-C support, with up to 10 weeks of battery life possible here, an improvement over the older version. Elsewhere, an adjustable warm light means you can change the screen shade from white to amber and get things just how suits you. Also, it's waterproof with an IPX8 rating so it's perfect for using in the bath or while relaxing in the pool on holiday. It's a little pricey for a Kindle but it's a worthy investment. 3. Amazon Kindle Oasis, 2019. Despite an aluminum chassis, the Oasis is lighter than the plastic-bound Kobo Libra 2 listed above and its IPX8 waterproofing means it can easily handle an accidental dunk in the bath, the pool or the kitchen sink. The backlight can be adjusted from white to warmer yellow hues to reduce eye strain, and it can even be scheduled to become warmer at bedtime, say, 9.30 pm for example. The buttons to turn pages are within easy reach of the thumb even if you have small mitts and have the smoothest performance of any asymmetric e-reader on the market that sports these buttons. WhisperSync support means you can stop reading on your Oasis and pick up reading where you left on the Kindle app, or another Kindle device, although this will require your devices to be on the same Wi-Fi network. 4. Kobo Clara HD While the basic Amazon Kindle and the Kobo Nia are cheaper than the Kobo Clara HD, this is our pick for a budget option is it, for a tiny bit more money, you get a 300 pixels per inch 6 inch screen. More importantly, that screen has amber LEDs and an automatic time setter for the blue light filters to come into play. That's something neither the Amazon Kindle nor the Kobo Nia will get you. It was the Clara HD that introduced the rapid page turn engine to the Kobo UX. This feature allows you to quickly move forward in an ebook by holding down on the bottom left corner of the screen. The slight caveat is that it only works with KEPUB ebooks, i.e. There's 8GB of internal memory, so you can store hundreds of ebooks and its size makes it really quite portable. So if you're after a budget e-reader, we can't recommend the Kobo Clara HD highly enough. 5. Kobo Ellipsa. It's unwieldy and very expensive, but then the Kobo Ellipsa is the 10.3-inch stylus toting e-reader that's more widely available than something like the Onyx Books Note Air, and lighter too. Admittedly it's a niche device, but it would be remiss of us not to mention it here. Even though the Kobo Sage also has stylus support and is much more easy to handle at 8 inches, the Ellipsa makes a bit more sense if you're keen on a note-taking e-reader. You can, in theory, even mark up PDFs, making signing digital documents a slightly easier process too. Of course, as a Kobo device, it comes with all the features that the company is known for, broad file format support, an excellent UX, an overdrive, pocket and Dropbox integration. Honestly, the Ellipsa has a lot going for it, if you really are in need of a note-taking, stylus-toting e-reader. Thanks for watching.